Hey everyone, uh, today we are doing a video right after NAVAC Summit. Last week we were at the summit, we actually did some uh, interviews there, which we're publishing this week, uh, highly anticipated videos. But um, for today we're going to talk about item tracing, uh, or inventory tracing. So if you have problems with inventory and someone calls you and gives you a lot number, uh, you should be able to trace that lot number to where you bought it from and then possibly do a recall or something like that. So, for example, if we take a batch of coffee, so this coffee that we just bought, we actually, this is in Ecta's uh, kitchen, we have enormous amount of coffee here, obviously. Um, and so on here should be a lot number where I could go and read and find out actually where this was sold i mean who who bought it um and all information about this product if the tracing was done properly i could probably figure out from what field this was grown which would be amazing but for right now we want to just go into nav and see or business central and see uh, how item tracing works you know similarly you might have food product you also have Pills, pills have lot numbers as well. And I did not prop this up. Someone actually put melatonin into our kitchen right next to the coffee, probably because we drink too much coffee and you can't sleep. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the video and take a look at how it works. All right, let's talk about item tracing. Now I am here in Business Central in the item list and I've created an item called coffee beans. Now, if I click on that, uh, just to take a look at how it was created, uh, I did pretty much uh, the same thing as I did with the other items, except I added something called lot all in the item tracking code. So what lot all does, it allows you to specify that this item is tracked uh, using lot codes and it, it's tracked everywhere, meaning that for purchase, for sale, for transfers, anywhere in the system, you have to specify the lot number that you're working with. And I created a number sequence called lot uh, for the lot number so that when I'm actually receiving inventory, it automatically um, assigns the lot or you can assign it automatically. So if I close this out and go ahead into uh, purchase orders, I'll just close out here, and I'm gonna create a new purchase order and receive a lot. So I go in here, we're going to buy it from the Fabricum uh, and I just look up my coffee beans. I'm going to get it into the main location, Oops, like so. We're going to get uh, 30 bags for five dollars. Put in the invoice number to the vendor and just go ahead and process and post. So here we do we receive an invoice. Uh, it complains now. But it says, hey, you didn't give me a lot number for this. So I'll do, okay, let me fix that. So if I go into, actually here, new, more options, line, item tracking line, then I can specify the lot number for this item that I'm receiving. And I can actually go into actions, functions, assign lot number, and it gives me the next lot number in my number sequence. And just assigns that. I could have typed in a number here as well. So I just close that out. And now I'm going to try again to uh, post this, like so. Receive an invoice. And hopefully everything went well. Yep. Don't want to look at the posted invoice. We just close that out. Now let's go ahead and sell this just to show you that we have to do the same thing on the sales order. I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to sell to the Addatum Corporation. We're going to pick the item number, coffee beans, from the main location. We're going to sell 10 for uh, 20. Ah, let's, let's sell it for $12. $25 would have been uh, crazy um, for a $5 item. But anyways, so we go in here and now we want to specify which lot number we're selling it out of. So if I go here into uh, more options, functions, uh, I have to go into related information, item tracking lines right here. Then I get a 
screen where I can specify the lot numbers that I'm selling out of. If I click on the three dots here, I get a list of lot numbers that I have. And I actually happen to have two lot numbers. I did buy this item before we started this demo. <laughs> so I have lot number number one and lot number number two. So this is a good example of showing you know, that we could have many lot numbers here. So I'm gonna pick it out of lot number two, close that out, 10 are going out of here. And now I just go into actions uh, I'm sorry, we're going to go and post this. So I go process. Uh, I'm sorry, posting, post, getting used to the new interface. It just got updated on me a couple of weeks ago. So I apologize for that. Okay, now we posted it. Don't want to look at the invoice. Now, point of this video was, of course, to show you that lot numbers are cool and you can use them anywhere in the uh, items. But how do we actually trace them? So we have everything lot tracked. What's the point? Uh, unless we can trace what happened. So I can actually get into the item here and take a look at actions. And there's something called item tracing here. So if I click on item tracing, and I hopefully can type in the lot number right. So I can uh, type in lot, I think it's three zeros, and I put two, and then click uh, trace. Then we can see everything that happened to this lot number. We can see that we actually bought it on purchase header 107 to 11, and we sold it on this shipment header. And we bought 30, we sold 10, so we have 20 left. So it's tracing this lot number. This lot number could have been moved around on a transfer order. It could have been you know, going from one location to another. It could go into production and actually out of production, and that would have worked fine, uh, etc. So similarly, I can look at lot number one, which has a very similar uh, trace. You can see that that was also bought and sold for 20 and 17, etc. So that's how item tracing works in Business Central. And uh, so if you have any lot tracked items, you can basically look up everything that happened to that item uh, using item tracing.